Joe, what you got yeah, there? Timber top log tongs. Oh, so you're about, you're about to check out with your timber top log tongs? Yeah, we have to take these timber top log tongs to ringworm. <laughs> He but could be underwater right now. I'm not. I, just spiritually. Right. That's what did you mean? That's what I meant. Okay. That was seriously sketchy. Look what I got. Are those timber tough log dogs? These are timber tough log dogs. It's been one year, one year at Ringworm, living in the wilderness, mostly by myself. I can't believe how fast this year went by. It was so, it was so much fun. I've got so many clips, extra clips. I shot about a terabyte and a half of video this year, and very little of it actually got used in the videos that you guys, a lot of you guys have already seen. So uh, I, instead of throwing it all away, I mushed it all together in one video. If you get motion sick, you're not going to enjoy this video. It goes really, really fast. Might make your head spin. Um, I'm going to put throughout the video some of the projects. I tried to put all the big building projects in there. Um, and you'll see little clickable links. So if there's anything you want to see the whole video of it getting built, the deer castle or, you know, tent platform or chainsaw milling or this thing or whatever, you can watch the video through you can come back and click those links and it'll take you right to the that entire video so try to enjoy hold on tight this is probably going to make you puke this is the way ancient man traveled before the snowmobile just to make sure this is accurate you're not getting paid This is it? This is where you live? What, you got three hand tools and a log bench and a tarp? Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> this is what we've waited, uh, I don't know. I've been looking for property for 13 years. And this is the first time out here. We've known each other since high school. There's nothing out here. There's just uh, acres of trees. You know, it's a place we can just come to screw around, do all the stuff that we like to do anyway, which is always be outside, always camp. Here, we can build whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. In my opinion, this is what every guy wants to do. No, uh, no offense to the, the ladies. Of course, there are some of them that want to do that and they're welcome to come on out. Um, We're gonna do this because we can. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other reason. That's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous thought and uh, nobody likes it. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. Can I touch your muscle? Really used my glutes for that one. <laughs> Everybody knows the best bacon has no meat. Dirty monkey. Best part about this kind of building is you don't have to plan anything. I just reinvented the toilet. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Breathtaking. There it goes, there it goes. Looks 
looks like your stills all jammed up, buddy. He plays lumber like no man for almost three miles. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the solo. The ceremonial opening of the door. Ooh. You did really well. Thank you. I need cheese. Yeah, I my cookies have been locked in here the whole time. <sighs> Whatever. Pretty gourmet. With the tea. She just called me a doorknob. You are not a fine specimen of anything. <laughs> Done enough for now. Lovely. I killed somebody with a trident today. Oh, this guy. I get so sick of stink. I get tired of the mites. My mites or your mites? <laughs> the mites. Is your shower a basic human need? <laughs> That's beautiful. Heavy. The tea is for time to shower. Terminal ringworm. I have terminal ringworm. I will die with it someday. <laughs> We're four months in at ringworm. It was horrible weather for the first two or three months and just in the last couple of days, it got gorgeous. Anybody got any suggestions what to do if you name a YouTube channel after the skin condition you thought you had and then turn out not to have that condition? Anybody have ringworm we could uh, borrow? Let us know. Put it in the comments. If you got ringworm, give me your address. I'll be there. Unless there's a more disgusting ailment that you can have. <laughs> Bot fly. Surviving lupus. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much deer shit out here. It's an inordinate amount of poop. Does that mean ordinary? That's like an ordinary amount of poop? Is that what you just said? We're sick of sleeping on snow and ice, which is the only snow and ice left out here is- Under the tent. Insulated by the tents. Here, catch. <laughs> I had something in my hand. Oh, you knocked it away with a brush. Very manly of you. I know. All right, I'm gonna cut that down. The only real reason I did this is because Ryan told me there's candy inside. I just guessed 10. I, I got three. Well, let's just, I just go somewhere in between and call it 13. I, I just threw out a word. <laughs> that was crazy. That was a lot of pressure. Yeah, you know. Even nature's under a lot of pressure. Okay, I gotta go. He's not telling you is I'm the foundation of this whole operation. Kind of like the tortilla chips of the nachos. He is the guacamole of this outfit. You know, you leave it out a little bit and it kind of turns brown. Brown guacamole. It's like a nuclear 
glowing, cancer-causing, radiation green. It's pronounced nuclear. As always, I'm glad we had this talk. You'll notice I don't have a belly anymore. You notice I do? He steals it from me at night. I feel his fingers on my stomach. I'm a fat <laughs> vampire. <laughs> Jesus, again? Sorry. Your guts? Prunes. I don't know about you, but I feel like this got a little out of hand just as a way to get out of the mud. It's like a 6,500 pound frame. That's what God said about me, every word of it. He was talking about your 6,500 pound frame. And it got really out of hand. <laughs> now the minute I've all been waiting for. Okay. Jesus, this shit. Wow, my pits smell like hamburgers. We don't know what we're doing. Don't try to learn anything from this. This is just us out here flailing and having a good time and building random stuff. This is probably a horrible way to do this, but it's kind of fun. He says, we're gonna cut these trees down. Do I need to wear pants? <laughs> Today's moving day. Oh, that's it. Take a big squirt and then breathe through your nose. No. <laughs> Come on, do it. Oh, that was a lot. No, it was. Look at that. There's a hot sauce box. Everything gets so carried away out here. <laughs> Pre-rusted. Where are you putting the hinge? Right there. I mean, oh yeah, I'm a dummy. I'll put it down here. I, it's, I got it See covered it. now. Have a good one. Cheese and chips. I'll have a bunch here that are only marginally spoiled. And by spoiled, I mean they've had it too good in there. I finally invent something that works. <laughs> Whatever. I think it's cool. I do too. Yeah, sure. And cut. We're moving the water tanks. Everything has to be drug in. One's gonna be filled with cheese. Right. That's for bathing. <laughs> the other for putting out fires. Well, I thought you were just going to say pudding. <laughs> so much fun to dig in the water like that. Because why not? Guess that works. So often pumps are not quiet things. Decided to save our pee for the lean times. And what a nice honey color it is. It almost makes you feel like you're at home. And then you look around you and you realize you're in the middle of the damn woods. These are vintage? You, look at them. You think, oh, I'm just gonna build it out of pallets. You wanna learn more about tactical pallet ripping, you go to tacticalpalletripping.schlarb backslash hyphen. Put my tent on it. Tent on it. Tent on it. We milled up all these boards. We did. Took a lot of time to get them real thin like that, perfectly straight. And then to, uh, 
make all the nails from iron ore. There's a lot of digging. And leave these right here. This no, way? Go ahead. No, no. <clears throat> a little hot hammer on hammer action, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't you dare. See how that worked right there? You got to put and you just put and you zing. I don't wear skirts no more. Heck, I do. Heck, I know. <laughs> Two by fours. That's what you always yell after you cut a piece of wood. Two by fours. It's old logging tradition. I'm stuck. <laughs> Clap my ears. Hey, it's human error. No, it's like the end of the thing. No, it's are... human hey, error. Hey, you listen here. These are the screws for the job. I tell you what. Tell me whence. I'll tell you whence. Yeah, see, they put too much paint in the mix. It's not human error. Too much mustard. There's too much mustard in my screw. I don't like mustard. I don't like it on my hot dogs, and I don't like it in my screw Ooh, tips. Hot dogs sound good. Yeah. Well, I didn't cut that one inch too long, did we? No. <laughs> Board. No, you didn't. You didn't put one here. Well, you're in the way. Gosh! You make my life miserable every time I'm using the mustard screws. <laughs> <laughs> they really do look like mustard. So somehow we got a measure. 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 Measure it, Cletus. Measure it. I wasn't recording the whole time. Go pro, you okay? I have to put supports in here for all my tap dancing. Got my beautiful deck done. Now it's moving day. There. Stripping poles. Stri stripping poles. The hot tub is getting done. Did drugged. Done drugged. We're gonna drug the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Welcome to camp, my hot tub. My cat. That cat right there. Hot tubbing coming up. I am excited. And we're filling the hot tub. We're filling. It's time to get naked and get in the hot water. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Who's, who was that? <laughs> <laughs> It's awful smoky. Sure is. Sweet Mary Mother of Pearl. My work is done for the day. Keeping it classy here at Ringworm. It's keeping it sexy at the dump. <laughs> <laughs> do you love how fast you can do stuff out here? Yeah, when you don't measure or care. <laughs> This video is a lie. <laughs> is it both feet at the same time or? Uh, all three. <laughs> all right, now we just need to find somebody with artistic skills to let us know where we are. My lovely lady, got to start on our sign here. Did you see this thing turned up? Ringworm. Unnecessary, but enjoyable. <laughs> it's kind of too bad that Tito had to eat that extra guy that came with us, though. There's one thing I think is missing to make it authentic. Yeah, it kind of needs something, doesn't it? Gorgeous, 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 darling. Beautiful. This is ringworm. Sadly, that's all that's left of the man that tried to eat Tito's cheese. I think today we need a shooting range.
We can shoot a cannon at this thing. That's a start. First find roughly the middle of the log. Just put one in there to hold it. It's always worth checking. Yep, that's why you check it. <laughs> Would have cut right into the bar. All right. No expert. I don't I don't know anything. Must be a pretty solid table. Why they gotta make the rain so loud? So How about dice? For no reason. I know, it's a stupid idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because that's why I'm out here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Sure you want to do this, dude? Yes. You sure? Uh-huh. It's pretty scary out there. There's a lot of farting and swearing and burping and throwing knives. That's Tito Cheeto's house. Really? Yeah. In the middle of nowhere? Dude, you're in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing here. It's just forest everywhere. You know what you can do out here? What? Anything you want. That's awesome. No rules at all. Did you see what's on that? Mm, no. Look closely at it. What is it? Bear. Bear tried to get in here. What do you think? Is it like your house? Uh, it's a little better. I'd rather shower in here than at the normal shower. Look who's here. I guess, made it. Guess who made it? I made it. Now the party's happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the worm, folks. <laughs> Are you ready for ringworm? It's even better than I imagined. Yeah, it is. It totally is. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't look very good on camera. It looks like a disaster of some sort. It doesn't look very good in person. <laughs> My very expensive um, art school training taught me 
If you mix black with a color, it makes it darker. And only with two simple tools. Oh, first <laughs> shot. <laughs> Take it easy, psycho. <laughs> Oh yeah. Is this the knife I cut the deer pee with? It was a different one. I'm gonna make a gazebo out here, like a screened in porch kind of thing. Let's cut some trees. And that's that. I've been wanting to build a tree house and guest cabin kind of thing and the deer blind. So I decided I'm gonna stick them all together into one. Must be an easier way. Looks like it'll hold fat people. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna get going, see what happens. Possible giant failures. You know why this isn't gonna work? So, I gotta go cut trees. I forgot about this thing. Guess who's not at work another day? That's what happens when you don't plan ahead. <laughs> it fit? Awkward. If it does fail, it'll be spectacular. Can make sure you guys aren't gonna fall off of here. You always wanna tuck your moon boots in underneath your pants. Just a little pro tip caught the carpal tunnels. Man, it is great to live like this. It's better to have a bad wrist and be doing this than be locked in an office or in a house with your children. Let's see if I can cut this left-handed without falling off the roof. Didn't fall off even once. Be careful because these aren't screwed down. So if I push here, Done. It looks weird in here. The sign of a real craftsman. The sign that somebody has no idea what they're doing. They're drowning and they're out of their element.
If it uh, doesn't fall over in the near future, I'll be pretty happy. This ain't half bad. To me, this is what life's supposed to be like. You don't go to work. That's the important part. I'm kind of into interior decorating. Hmm. Friggin' nailed myself in the face with a cock with a cock gun yesterday. Jeez, they made men differently back then. Never done it, don't know what they're supposed to look like. Did I mention that I hate sanding? I hate it. There's nothing fun about sanding. You know what? Who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm not a caveman. Things are gonna change. Somebody waited too long. Crap. He's a little pregnant at the moment. Clean that pan, clean it. Have to dump some hot water in. Well, there you go. warm, burned off a little bacon, and the door opens. I had leftover mac and cheese, which is kind of gross. Even my mouth bacon is better. It feels like central heating in there. That was bizarre. <laughs> Who do you suppose lives in there? Memory foam pillow. Well, I'm off to shower. It's going to be awesome. Wow, check that out. That is so bizarre. There's the tooth of a Sam Squatch. Oh, made it. I guess this isn't completely frozen yet. The real problem's gonna be getting the trailer out of here now. Huh. Looks we had a bear here again. Yep, there's still water. There are apparently still some rabbits that like to shoot. Safety fourth, like I always say. Oh, I should have my hand on it like a mattress on top of your car. This is for the dumb people. This is track, tracking for the idiots. And it works for me. <laughs> Somebody walked right by here last night. I do not know what kind of tracks these are. Does anybody know? I figure I might as well follow them for a while. <laughs> Whoa.
Well, what'd you think? <clears throat> too flashy? Did it make you puke? Too much ringworm will do that to you. It'll make you sick. It's been a fun year. Low key, a lot of work, but really fun. Uh, I just thought I'd answer one quick question that a lot of people brought up. Where did ringworm get its name? Uh, all the videos are in order and there are numbers after each one. So in case you wanted to go back and uh, watch them in order from number one is first getting out here, like the first week out here when I was here with uh, Tito. And I think that was the only video that explained the name ringworm. But when, when I bought this property a little over a year ago, or, uh, I was sitting with Tito and we were trying to think up a great name for the place. And I was just itching and itching and itching. And he said, what is wrong with you? And I said, I don't know, man. I think I got ringworm. I had these spots all over me and his eyes got big and he said, that's it. And I said, that is it. If we name this place ringworm, nobody will want to come visit. And that's exactly what we were looking for. Exactly what I'm looking for. Just a place to myself with no interruptions. I'm thinking about doing a video next about uh, what it costs to live out here. I've had a lot of questions in the comments about that. Um, you know, what it costs day to day to do this or what it costs to get started. If there's enough interest, I'll probably put that video together. So let me know if that's something you're into. Otherwise, we'll go back to the building projects. I got one started now that's <laughs> it's really ridiculous. Uh, I'm building a more comfortable place to sleep. And it's not going to replace the tent. And it's not as indoors as a tent. But it's going to be uh, a fan fantastic place to sleep during uh, good weather. Like I've been saying the whole time, I'll stay out here as long as it's fun. And it's been a blast so far. So going into year two, see how it goes. It's nice. Uh, I won't have to spend this year starting from scratch, building a place to house the tools and, you know, a place to set up my tent and all that. Stay out of the mud. So it'll just be uh, a year of creativity with the chainsaw. And I can't wait. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see this experiment going forward into uh, year two. Living alone in the woods in Michigan in a tent. And if any of those projects looked interesting to you that were in the clips you just watched, uh, don't forget you can go back through and click on the links and see the, the entire project videos. Thanks for watching. See you throughout the next year. Ow. You might want to hold on to the other end. Oh. God. Class America. <laughs> <laughs> what a tool. <laughs> oh, you rolled up your sleeves for it? Yeah. <laughs> hey! You did it.